All right, it is Sunday. Yep. And we are camping. It's we are at the campground. It's Little man. Hey. We're at the park. Eight o'clock in the morning. Boy wakes up, all excited. Ready to rock and roll. Here, let's climb underneath this here. This guy, oh jeez. All right. Hey, 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 hey. So he's, uh, he's having a blast. He's having a good time. <laughs> but we're here all by ourselves. It's like eight in the morning. Everybody's probably still sleeping. They're probably like, what the hell? <laughs> Saturday or Sunday morning, why are you guys up and playing? <laughs> it's because this is the first time my boy's done this, so he hasn't had the opportunity of doing it. So, anyway, you can see the that's actually the swimming lake over there that they have a little water spout and they have a water slide. And then our camp is back over there and we're set up. I'll show, take you guys over there, show you the setup here in a little bit. Last night we, we got in, got set up, it rained a little bit, and the unfortunate news is I do have a small leak in the top of the camper. So I'm going to have to fix that when I get home, which it's just a little drip. It's nothing major, just a little drip. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. So we made hot dogs, made some s'mores. We did some cool stuff last night. Last night was all, all set up and everything. And then today we're going to do some fishing and we'll do some other cool stuff. But I'll take you over by the campground. So once he's done playing, we'll head over there. Yeah, we just ordered breakfast. So now we're gonna come over here, take a walk. And we'll show you all the campground that we're on. Thanks. You can see over here, basketball courts, big field to play in. It's pretty sweet, pretty nice. Little man's got a couple of waters with us. He's following along. And right up over here, let me go ahead and uh, switch this around now if I can, hold on. And right up over here, it's our camp spot, my car. Let me take you inside. We've got a little fire pit. We have new neighbors there. These guys are taking off today. We've got our spot. Covered up the firewood. All right, let's, we're probably a mess this morning, but that's okay. So you see, yeah, we got our other food and everything all over the place. And we got everything set up. We got our TV, slept over there. It's pretty sweet. So, oh fridge beer gotta have a beer good to go putting the beer back in there that a boy good job put the water in there somewhere along with our food we'll come back out and we'll go over fishing and we'll have some fire with s'mores again tonight have a good time all right we got some fishing in which is nice and now we got rained on so we had to change some clothes and so now he's gonna watch some uh some Paw Patrol. A little Paw Patrol, hang out, maybe take a nap, and then we'll go as soon as this rain clears up. It wasn't supposed to rain today, so I was pretty surprised for that to come in. Rained a little bit last night, but nothing major. Um, but then later, maybe once it warms back up, it's supposed to be like 85, we'll go hit the pool and go hang out over there for a little bit. But it's another weekend. Uh, here in a minute, I'm gonna show you the arsenal in the car that I brought with me for this week, and we can talk about all the different bowling balls and stuff. So um, I'm gonna kinda rest for a second and then I'll take you out to the car and we'll talk about all the bowling balls in my arsenal. All right, well, the rain kinda put a damper on some things today, but that's okay. We uh, gonna wait till a little bit later. Should clear up a little bit later, supposed to anyway. It wasn't even really supposed to rain today. Some clouds came in and kinda screwed everything up. So uh, I'm a little disappointed with how this weekend went physically. Uh, execution wise so we are going to there's a bowling center two miles down the road here in Brunswick Ohio so we're gonna go and I'm gonna let little man bowl a little bit and I'm gonna get some practice in so I'm going to uh, get set up and I will show you the arsenal and we'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute all right so we got here to Brunswick Ohio which is where we were and got to the bowling center and to my surprise we've got above ground ball returns and no lane machine so they're all hand oiled so it's pretty cool so i got my high road out um, which i haven't thrown other than the day i drilled it drilled it just because i figured i should have one in my bag so we'll see how it does
Like it's crazy to me, even a high road hooks immediately in this place. It's pretty neat, it's pretty cool. Good, good place to practice when you're, you're trying to float your ball through the front. Zenith Hybrid here. Let's see what Zenith Hybrid looks like. That actually even got through the fronts a little bit better than the high road did. I love watching the ball come back above ground. Oh, that's pretty neat. pretty good too so that's not bad but i mean you can definitely see these balls hooking immediately off my hand so you got to get the angles right and that's what makes it tough and sometimes you see tour patterns that actually get like this so that's why i love practicing at waterford lanes because they have the same type of thing a little friction there but she looks pretty good let's see what purple amber looks like start with my weaker five inch pin purple amber three times, it hooks in the front, tries to pick up in the middle, and then it hooks down lane again. test your accuracy for sure because this ball you can't throw it to the right you get a little bit of left room 
best of all the oil in the middle. But they do a pretty good job handling, like, hand oiling. You can definitely see the hold in the middle of the line. See if I got the other one with me. Yeah, so this is the three and a half inch pin one, so I'm gonna see what the three and a half inch looks like. Try to throw it in the same spot, it should pick up a little bit more. definitely picked up a bunch more so i'm gonna see if i can't go a few left i got a little 256 right out of the box in this building so that's not bad I'm okay with that I'll show you a couple more shots and be done the other purple hammer and you can just see how much more this picks up so uh, yeah we're in good shape all right so we got done practicing so we'll go through the arsenal that we have we've got three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty balls with us these are three of them we got the zenith hybrid a couple of purple hammers legion pearl we got a high road we got the hellraiser blaze the Zen Master, we got Scorpion back there, we got the New Thrill, I got a 2 inch Eruption Pro Blue, the Old Purple Hammer, we got a nice Zen, a Knockout, which is a very situational ball for me, we got this, uh, the Honey Badger Intensity, strong pin down layout, that Ripcord Velocity is actually, it came into play quite a bit this weekend, so that was nice um the proof pearl we got an iq tour we got the swag uh joker wild a proof hybrid and then a parallax effect so so that's what we got uh surprisingly i came to this bowling center i don't even know what it's called but we're at this bowling center here and it is where scott mcintyre and sandra morgan their shop is oh. I walked in and they were in the pro shop drilling some balls and stuff. So I practiced for a little bit and they're like, good luck, you know, because uh, the surface is garbage, which it was, you know, it's an old wood surface and uh, it had the above ground ball returns and they hand oil. So it's pretty cool. But we still struck a little bit, still figured out. I was just working on physical game stuff. But other than, otherwise, it was a pretty good practice session. Uh, did the things that we needed to do to get ready for Minster. We're bowling on. I don't even know what we're bowling on there. But... We'll be ready to go. We're ready to rock. We've got our equipment. We're solid. Got a couple of days, so we'll take tomorrow off, and then we'll practice on Tuesday and be ready to rock. So uh, that's today's vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed. This one was a little longer because I showed you some bowling footage, but that's good to go for the day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.